All right, it is range day, finally. Uh, it's been forever. I haven't been to the range since my birthday, actually, uh, which I posted on the Instagram. Uh, today, we're going to do a mover mailbag and go to the range, um, shooting the STI 2011. People have also asked, uh, I guess there's a rev challenge for um, AWE, so we're going to do that too. But people have asked about this and whether I'm going to get it fixed or have gotten it fixed. There's a TSB on the ZR1 that basically uh, one of the valves sticks open and it can dump fuel and shoot flames. And that's actually what caused this. So I've got new badges that are in. Uh, we've got to comply with the TSB, uh, which is a service bulletin. And then the airbag thing that happened to me, too, is also covered in that. But uh, I'm waiting until kind of the corona thing uh, cools off or eases up because uh yeah i just don't feel like leaving my car at a dealer and it's not essential i mean there's no hurry to get it done so uh we're gonna wait and then once everything is back to somewhat normalcy um got a whole bunch of stuff for them to do for the car so uh let's take a cold start and then let's go to the range and i'll answer some mover mailbag questions three two one fight off fits into a range in Slidell if anybody's ever wondering where I go shoot uh, they didn't pay me to say that but um, just so you know we are taking all precautions um, you know I've got mask and also they only allow one person at a time to rent the range so I've got the entire range from 10 to 11 so it's not like I'm going out with a whole bunch of people and, and not social distancing so it should be uh, pretty fun so I'm gonna go shoot and when I get back I'll answer uh, some mover mailbag questions Such a good looking car.
Well, there were multiple people out on the range, but they did do social distancing, so that's good. I thought I'd have the whole range to myself. Oh well, shot 200 rounds. Uh, I was going to shoot the 2011. Now let's get to your uh, question. Got a ton of emails, so let us go through some of them. Uh, all right, this is from Marshall. It says, love your channel. I'm a huge fan of all the advice gouge you're giving. A little backstory. I'm 35. I applied to various commissioning sources. Wasn't picked up. I decided I wanted to fly no matter what. And made the decision to join the Army in 2015. I served as a sniper. That's pretty cool. Uh, now that my contract is ending, I saw that USAF updated our age limit to 33. I'm pursuing all types of units, most heavy, mostly heavy units, to fly in either the Air National Guard or Reserve. I understand I need an age waiver. Confident with my experience, attitude, test scores, and interpersonal skills, I'll be able to pick up by a unit. My question, I'm applying to a unit that is having its interview boards while my unit is having its annual training. If selected to interview, how should I inform the board that I'll be in the middle of AT? Uh, thanks. Keep killing on YouTube. Kindly, Marshall. Um, by telling them that you're just, I mean, just be honest up front. I mean, I've interviewed with units and, you know, they say, hey, here's the interview day. I'm like, well, here's, they understand you've got annual training and you're still doing this and you can't give up your, your current gig. So just, just be honest and forthright and, I honestly don't think it's a problem. You may, you know, they may make a special, uh, like a Skype interview or something that you can do during, or you may end up just picking a different board or something. Just be honest. I mean, that's that's honestly the the only thing you can do at that point is, you know, because they'll respect that, I think. Next one comes from William. William says, hello, I love your videos. I have a question for your mover mailbox. Did you ever go to Sears School? And if you have, where was it and how was it? Uh, I love your vids and uh, hope you're doing well during quarantine. Yep, went to Sear at Fairchild in Washington State, and it sucked. Um, everything else about it's pretty much classified, but it's not, I mean, it's good learning. Uh, I, honestly, it really wasn't that bad. The outdoor stuff is fun, and, you know, you're, you're doing survival training. Then you do some evasion training, which is really fun. Uh, resistance and escape, I mean, that, that part is good training, but it's not something that most people want to do again. All right, Dan says, Hi, Mr. LeMoyne. Hope you're well. Really enjoy watching your channel, learning a bit about the different jets you've flown and your past experiences. 18-year-old from the UK and funnily enough, been awarded a scholarship by the Royal Navy to be a pilot after I graduate, which I'm looking forward to hugely. However, due to the current global situation, I have now technically graduated and have some free time to my officer intake. I've spoken to a few people I know already in the service and about what I can do to fill my time studying to for a recreational pilot's license. I've been a glider pilot previously, but was wondering if you had any advice, ideas on what I could do, please. I know the US, UK are different. Thought I'd ask. Another note, I was thinking about possible future video idea to your YouTube channel would be a sort of spinoff videos of what pilots do during lockdown. Well, what I'm doing during lockdown apparently is DCS videos. Um, and I started a Twitch channel. But uh, to answer your question, you know, pilot training in the military, military training in general, they teach you what you need to know. Uh, you can probably start learning bull face and systems if you've got time. Uh, maybe get a cockpit trainer, you know, like X-Plane or something if to try to learn where all the switches are and stuff. But don't try to teach yourself anything because I don't want you to pick up bad habits. I mean, use your time wisely. Enjoy your free time because once you start training, you're not going to have any more free time. So just use that time wisely and then from there you can um, kind of... Get a, get a leg up just in studying bull face and uh, ops limits and stuff like that. But congratulations on your pilot slot. Jim says, hi, Mover. Thank you for your great channel and interesting, enjoyable content. You may recall that during World War II, the legendary pilot Bob Hoover escaped as a POW, stole F-190 to fly for, for fly to freedom, or realizing the flaw in his plan to, of flying an enemy aircraft in the UK. Question is, do you think that modern aircraft have become too complex for an Allied pilot to repeat the same feat? Obviously, assumes the pilot is undetected while attempting... Uh, the theft and the aircraft has a self-start capability. The aircraft might typically be a MiG-29 Su-27. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think if you could get it started, I think you could. Getting it started is probably going to be the hardest part. But, um, you know, I mean, they're all basically the same. But if you can get everything online, yeah, I think it's definitely very possible. That's a good question, though. That's be an interesting uh, book idea. All right, this one comes from Cody. Cody says, hey, Mover, just wanted to let you know that I just got Spectrizing in the mail today and I'm loving the book already. If I remember correctly, you said that was your first book. 
This is top quality work, easily on par with the greatest authors of the last 30 years. I'm an avid reader who has a reputation for churning through an 800 page novel in two days. I anticipate this book will be done in less than a week. Sadly, life doesn't allow me to read as much as I used to. I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel as well. I have a question for you. Which fighter did you like better, the F-16 or the F-18? Actually, I have a couple questions for you. Specifically, I wish I could buy you a couple beers to uh, bar your ear for an hour. Maybe someday I'll get lucky and meet you and we make that happen. I've also attached a couple funny fighter-related videos. These are funny memes. Um, yeah, that's funny. Thank you for reading. Uh, Spectre Rising is part of the Spectre Series box set, which is 99 cents for a couple more days. Uh, so I'm glad you're enjoying it. As far as favorite, I loved them both. Uh, maybe I'll do a video. I, I keep saying that, but I will. I, I wrote an article on Fighter Sweep, which is now soft rep, about the differences between the two, but uh, the Viper will always be my first love. So, all right, one more uh, question. This last one comes from Gary, and it's uh, also about books. Hi, Mover. Really enjoying the YouTube channel. Keep up the good work. I've been reading a lot during the lockdown here in the UK. I just finished the eight-book Spectre series, and I've downloaded the first of the uh, Alex Shepard stories. By the way, it's great to read an aviation-based novel where the aviation aspects are actually correct, not like some authors where it's obvious that they haven't a clue what they're talking about. Ha! If the lockdown lasts much longer, you're going to have to write faster. Keep up with me. Uh, Royal Air Force retired air traffic control. We tell the pilots where to go. Well, well we tried. Uh, Ex-Cold War warrior, and I remember when the UK skies used to be full of aircraft, U.S. Air Force aircraft, F-111, F-4, A-10, KC-135, B-52, C-5, just to name a few. Wow, that's pretty cool. All the best from UK. Stay safe. Regards, Gary. That's awesome. Thank you for reading, Gary. Um, all right, we'll actually take one more question. Hey, Mover, my name is Andrew. I recently found your channel. I've been hooked ever since. The advice you give is really important. I really appreciate this, especially for the next generation of military aviators. I really wish there was something like this around when I was younger to make them tell you no. Attitude is perfect advice for I self-eliminated in a recruiting office when I was 18, unfortunately. Anyways, I'm now 27. I have no college. I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this, but if I gave it my all, would it be possible to be a pilot in the military? Or would I be past the age limit upon UPT? I know there are certain waivers and whatnot, but I don't know if I'd ever be competitive for a pilot slot at my age, even if I do. Anyways, I hope the rest of your year goes well. Yeah, 2020, man. Jesus. And I look forward to hearing from you and watching more videos. Yeah, Andrew, um, 32 in the Navy, 33 in the Air Force, and then it's waiverable beyond that in the Air Force. Um, I, I've got a military pilot FAQ, which I will link in the description. Answers a whole bunch of frequently asked questions, but... Uh, the bottom line is make them tell you now. Do it and and don't ever look back and don't don't self eliminate. So anyway, if you have anything for the mover mailbag, it is uh, mover mailbag at gmail or sorry mover mailbag at cwlemoyne.com. Uh, not currently taking any PO box stuff, but when Corona lifts, we'll go back to PO box uh, as well. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this mover mailbag. I know it's kind of light on the mailbag part, but you know. Range therapy. It's awesome. Plus time in the ZR1. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.